What's good everybody, my name is Verns and welcome to All In Your Head. This is a game on Steam right now about, I think a group of friends that just go to a cabin in the woods, um, or maybe like an Airbnb or something, I'm not sure, but they're haunted, stalked, creeped on by something, um, a ghost entity, I don't even know, but let's go ahead and jump into it and uh, see what All In Your Head is all about. The uh, the atmosphere from the pictures that I saw of the game looked really good, that's what caught my attention. See ya, I don't, who are you? <laughs> are we just getting dropped off here, is that what's going on? Oh look, a shooting star. Obviously, <laughs> that means our luck is turned for the better in this game. Um, but yeah, this looks really nice. I enjoy this. This is like calming. It's peaceful. Look at that. The moon shining bright, peeking through the trees. I love it. If we weren't in a horror game <laughs> and I didn't have the record button going right now, I would actually be pretty at peace with this. I love camping. I love being outside. Um, what's around the house though? Let's not go inside just yet. Pretty standard stuff. Very eerie and spooky. Uh, oh my god! Is that a- that's a person, right? I'm not tweaking? Oh, don't get all shady on me now. Whoa, that is 1000% a person, but I can't tell if they're hanging from the tree or if they're just posted up there. Either way, I am very uncomfortable and I don't like it. Um, inside we go. That spooked me, I'm not gonna lie, that wasn't even a jump scare. What do we got? Is this the <laughs> the beautiful and proudful country of Australia? Continent? Country? Um, I'm not gonna say it is because I don't recognize any of those words. Uh, except for Pontypool, I recognize that word. That is a really, really good and underrated horror movie about zombies. But, okay, let's take a look inside the house. I'm getting distracted already. Uh, we got some rules. Check in. Your keys can be found in the key box outside your cabin. If you rented the recreational area, you should have two keys in the box. The key box is located or is locked with a five digit code, which is your cabin number plus your street number, uh, which is 58. Firewood is provided in case of power failure. Please use the generator. It can be found near the gate of the recreational area. Okay. Good stuff. House rules. Don't care about those. Check out, uh, check out time is 11 AM. We'll see about that. Depends on how many brewskis we have. Um, or how many I have with the boys. Uh, okay, don't care about that. Rec area rules. Yeah, pretty standard stuff. This is, uh, I'm assuming just like an Airbnb then. Uh, I don't know why we're here. If we're here to celebrate something. I didn't pick that up, but... You know, <laughs> aside from the silhouette of that very scary lady just peeking through the trees. Um, this has got a really good vibe to it. I like this a lot. And we got some bottles here already prepped, opened, and ready to be dominated. This is like a, uh, it's kind of like a modern upscale type house. And then you got this tacky ass tile flooring. I don't know whose decision it was to put that in, but the rest of the house looks, uh, looks really good. So if I got dropped off here, why is all my shit here already? Battery low, okay. Mm, all right, that's fine, I guess. What is this? I think there's a charger next to the sofa. Uh, yep, I see it. Pick up the laptop. Mm, okay. I want to read this, though. Oh, come on. There we go. Welcome. Explore from a beautiful, rustic-style apartment. Serene sanctuary filled with natural light. This guest house has a spacious porch and impressive views of the uh, neighboring vineyard. Perfect for relaxing, drinking a cup of coffee or tea or a glass of wine, and taking in the beautiful countryside. Built in the 1700s, away from the hustle and bustle of the city, this is your perfect getaway. Furnished with a full bedroom as well as a comfortable living room. Uh, bedroom with king bed and in-suite bathroom. Nice. Plus your own private patio with sunset views. Private entrance off our enclosed courtyard, which has several amenities available for your use. Tables, chairs, coffee maker, microwave, and ice maker. Uh, so it's a four-bedroom house, two bathrooms, and it's a nice-looking little uh, flyer. Things to do and see. Cycling, mountain biking, explore the wooded path with the very creepy ghost ladies chilling out behind the trees. Uh, tourist center, so there's a gas station nearby, a grocery store, and a hospital. St. Barry's. Cool. Um, what kind of, <laughs> what kind of flyer is this? It's a three-sided flyer. Okay. Cool. Good stuff. Um, nice. Alright. So we got a hospital nearby, so in case that lady decides to up and yoink our spleens out of her body, um, spleens, we've only got one of those, then I know there's a hospital nearby. Can I call the phone? Oh, what? I can open these? Weird. Okay. Can I close that? 
I was not expecting to... Alright, well now I have to open all of them. I can't crouch. And apparently I can only open those. Weird. Okay, I don't... That's really random. Let's go ahead and plug our laptop in, though. And see what's going on. Let's take another quick look at the room. This fireplace is sick. I wish I had one of these in my apartment. There should be a lot of green. The one thing all of us agree with. Okay. I mean, looks like there's enough green. It's just dark out, so you can't really see it. What's popping on our laptop? Um, me, Adam Fruk. That is a strong name. Yasmin and Mina. So what, are these all the passwords? Why do I have... Is this like a communal laptop? Can I type in this? Ooh, I can. Uh, Verns... Nope, I can't even spell my own name. Is... Hot and oh, too many D's and uh, sexy. Nice. We have to make sure the web page goes live at twelve. What web page? Are we app developers? Are we programmers? Is that what's going on? Are we just having a big uh <laughs> programming party out in the woods? I feel like it definitely said it in the, the, the game description, and I just didn't read it. Um, so that's on me. Let's go ahead and head upstairs. I'm a little on edge. Not much has happened yet. No weird noises. It's pretty quiet for the most part. Um, so I don't know if something's going to pop out. Ugh, gross. No jump scare, but that wallpaper is good enough. Yikes. Who would take a nice, well-laid-out <laughs> home like this? And put that type of wallpaper in it. That just, like, shits up the entire place. If we're being honest here. You got the random rocking chair in the corner. Okay, that's fine. Does this one have... Yep, it does. <laughs> Ew. I don't know why. For some reason, I want to, like, color in the flower petals. Okay. At least this one has a laptop and a phone. Press F to use the phone's flashlight. Nice. Yes, sir. Okay. So, I guess we'll just go ahead and go into all these rooms. Um, pretty good sized bathroom. Toilet paper, I don't have a reflection. Uh, good stuff. Another bedroom. Do I have a reflection in this mirror? I don't think I will. Nope. Closet that I probably can't hide in. Yeah, no, I can't. Okay. And a picture of a lady. Hello, pretty lady. Continuing on. Uh, Fruk <laughs> claimed the biggest bedroom as soon as we got here. We didn't mind. He convinced his uncle to give us the cabin, so we let him have it. So this is Fruk's uncle's cabin. Good stuff. Good stuff, Fruk. Uh, it's the only room with a private bathroom. Yep. Got it. And... Uh, what was that? Hello? Fruk? <laughs> Fruk's uncle? Yikes. Okay, that was the first time we uh, we got a little anything, really. Scare. Uh, jump scare. Anything out this window? Nope. I don't see the lady either. I see a vehicle, though. I don't know whose that is. But let's go... I don't even know where that noise came from. It sounded like it came from downstairs, but... Ugh. Hello? Fruk's uncle? Uncle Fruk? Fruconius, are you here? Uh, the Frukmeister? What is that? What is glowing? Is that the spirit of Uncle Fruk? What's going on here? That lady's still there. Um, but somebody broke the, uh, the glasses. That's too bad. Ladies oh, what the hell? And gentlemen. What the Fruk? <laughs> years of working our butts off. Tonight, we celebrate. We have worked overtime, weekends, neglected Who our are you? the website. Of course. And you'll be done with it in ten minutes. As I was saying, we neglected our personal lives. Today, our hard work pays off. Today, we redeem our lives. We redeem our at lives. Midnight, I will hey, excuse me, Fruit's talking. For you. Oh my god. Are you okay? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Get into a hospital. There's a very bad allergy. Oh we no. Need to go. We need to quickly enter our codes. There is no time. We got to go now. 
What is going on? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Pump the brakes. We were investigating a broken bottle. God damn it, Adam. What? Hey, you doing okay? I don't know. Listen, man. Thanks for volunteering to stay back. There was obviously not enough time to lock everything. Also, Mina's on her way. She should be there soon. Great. Yes, Mina is not well, I'd say. She's acting weird. Things. We're near the hospital now. We'll update you from there. My code is 521992, just in case. If we're not back before 12, we'll tell you the rest of our activation codes over the phone as well. And if you need anything, just call me. Bye. All right, Adam, whatever you say, 521992, 521992. Got it. Okay. Um, I am so confused. That was a lot that just happened in a very short amount of time. I thought we were <laughs> trying to figure out what was going on with these bottles, and then all of a sudden we're having a, a heated discussion about the launch of, I think, our website um, around the table. And then Yasmin started choking. Adam was being a dick. Fruk was just <laughs> giving a toast. I don't know what's going on. Um, that's fine, I guess. They left me to, to hang back and hold the fort down, so... Uh, hold the fort down is what I'll do. 52199. No, no. We have to make sure the web page goes live at 12. I'm trying to. Okay. So, let's go ahead and delete these uh, very truthful um, and heartwarming messages that these guys left me. And Adam's code was 521992. And the Wi Fi signal's lost. Of course it is. Why would it not be? We have to make sure. I know we do, Ben. What kind of web page do we even have? Oh no! Please don't. Mina, is that you? Is that Uncle Fruk? Oh, uh, where are you at? At least I can see where they're coming from. The lights open. Do you have a flashlight? Oh, Jesus H Christ! That one got me. Find a power source. I will do my best uh, once my heart stops beating out of my chest. That was a good jump scare, man. I'm not going to lie. God, that was horrible, though. Ugh. I just got the shivers. Okay. F. I still have my flashlight, right? Ugh, it's not very strong. I don't know why that jump scare got me. I think it was because I was look Well, classic misdirect. I was looking at the light, and then all of a sudden... Uh, Come sprinting out the corner of my eye. That was spooky. I haven't been in here yet. Is there anything in here? Standard issue bathroom. All right. Ooh. All right. Well, we'll push forward. Um, we got to go turn the power on, and the power was up here, I think. Yeah, where the truck was. Still don't know whose truck that is, but at this point, I don't think I'm in a position to ask questions. Yeah, I really like the the mist and the fog, like laying through the uh, the trees and everything, and the crickets. This looks like it's hooked up to the house. Thank God for that. What is the fence or the generator? Probably the generator. Easy peasy, baby. Let's head back. Um, but yeah, no, I just like the way that everything looks, like the layering of the trees, and I don't know. I'm easily amused, and like. Amused and look at the blue like the blue light night sky over there. That looks so good. Oh Hello out of fuel shit. Uh, we've got bigger issues at hand buddy Like the dead lady in our window look for fuel. Okay. Can I open that fence? I didn't really try earlier Ugh. Can We go in here recreational area uh, I missed that first part. I need a key. Well, obviously, but... Alright. Well, I'm assuming the key will probably be... Probably be... In one of our lockboxes, I think. But I already forgot what the code would be for that. I think they said it was your... Building number plus your... Room number? Street number, which was 58. Uh, yeah. 19258, I guess, would probably... Probably be the code. Man, I can't talk today. Uh, 19258. Bingo, bango. That's the one. What do we get? Nothing. Okay. Interesting. Well, how about this one? 19158. 
Actually kind of surprised I remember those numbers. There we go. We got some keys. This looks like the key to the chained gate. Okay. We're cooking. We're cooking with grease now. Let's go ahead and head in there. Head through the gate. So, again, my brain is still trying to wrap around what happened. So, Yasmin was choking on a bone. Uh, Fruk seemed to be kind of like the ringleader with all this. With our website that we're launching. Very squeaky gate, by the way. Um, and then, Adam gives me like... So, like, Fruk's the, the business guy. Like, the, the salesy guy that's just pushing the numbers. And he's like, yeah, yeah, we're a big business group or whatever. And then, I don't really know what Yasmin's role in the the group is she kind of just was choking on food uh, but then adam seems to be like the actual tech bro like the guy that does all of the work who's solely responsible for the success of the company um and i don't know what role i play uh probably the guy that gets killed first Ugh. bucket anything hanging from the ceiling perhaps a ghost lady um <laughs> got some compost course uh, a pot that looks like it belongs to a witch um, some giant cheese wheels and a trident no what is that what is it called if it's a trident with an extra prong a quadrant some aerosol spray some pliers I would really like to take that you know just to have it there's the gas I feel like if I had some kind of a weapon I would be more prepared <laughs> For what's to come. Never prepared enough. Pushing forward. I feel like we're at uh, <laughs> Camp Crystal Lake. And I don't know if it's just because... Is there actually water? Or am I like envisioning water? How far away can I go too? I'm not going to test it. Because for whatever reason, I feel like this game is the type of game where if you somehow die or manage to get yourself killed, you have to go back to the beginning. And quite frankly, I don't want to do that. So, I'm not going to. Um, so, alright. Fuel in the generator. This should last now. I hope so. Return to the cabin. Got it. 10-4. One step ahead of you. It's actually pretty timely, too, because I just booked an Airbnb for myself. Um, and for a group of my friends, my buddy's getting married. So, shout out to you, Cody. But, uh, <laughs> we booked an Airbnb and, yeah. It's been a while since I've stayed in one. It's been a while since I've had to like go out of my way and like book one and stuff. But I I love staying at Airbnbs. They're the best. Especially if you got a, your boys with you, your friends. Get some good food, get some good drinks. Uh, it's a good time. It's ten times better than staying at a hotel for sure. Alright, the ambiance picked up a little bit. I'm going to stop talking about my personal life and focus up on what's going on. Oh, hello. She's returned. <laughs> Back in the house, baby. Listen, uh, if you just wanted to come in and stand by the fire, that's fine. I I mean, I don't want any beef with you. I don't want any smoke. I don't want any problems. Uh, maybe I could join you. You know, maybe we could cuddle up by the fire together. I got the place to myself. You know? I can't tell if you're floating or if you're really tall or just have long legs. I don't want to find out. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <sighs> Damn, you are knocking the whole damn house. I'm coming, damn. Who What's are you? up? How late am I? Mina? Oh, she was the other person. <laughs> End of demo. Thank you for playing my game. Full game coming soon. Um, how did you like the game? Give feedback on Discord, give feedback on Steam. All right. We'll do that. Never mind. <laughs> I'll do that later. But yeah, that was, I mean, that was fun. I, so Mina, I guess, was the only person that was coming late. And so it's a good thing we were there. I, I don't know. I don't know the entity that was stalking us. I'll have to look into that and see if they put it in the game description on Steam. But as far as I'm concerned, it was a ghost. Um, didn't seem much more threatening or uh, sinister than that. But that is going to do it. So as always, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and drop a sub. Follow me. Put the noties on so you know when my videos drop as soon as they do. Um, we've got a lot of games in the woodwork and a lot coming out here in the future that I'm super, super excited about. So that is going to do it for this game. But thank you all so much for being here. I cannot wait to see you in the next one. But until then, just survive.